Hello everybody and welcome to What's Happening in Sarah's World. Ta-da! Today I'm going to make my very first ever gingerbread house from scratch. So first things first, I've got all the ingredients out. I have the butter, all of the spices and salt, the flour, brown sugar, molasses, eggs and water. So the first step is to mix it together in a couple of steps and uh, then put it in the fridge. So let's get started. Okay, so the first step is to whisk the flour, baking soda, ginger, cinnamon, allspice and salt together in, I'm going to do it in this bowl. Beat the butter, the brown sugar together on medium speed until completely smooth and creamy, which is about two minutes. in the eggs, the molasses, and the water on high speed. Okay. in the wet, uh, the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients on a slow speed. So what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to use a, the cut, the little bowl actually, to tip it in, because that's just how I'm going to do it. for two hours. Okay.
the things out, dough out. That's what it is, gingerbread dough. I finally got it. It says to roll it out to a quarter of an inch thick. So I brought a tape measure out of my drawer so I can measure it to be that thick. There we go, quarter of an inch. That's half, quarter. Okay. And I'm doing it between two bits of parchment paper because that will stop it sticking. lot out. Not sure uh, how the uh, stained glass windows are going to go, but um, it's all good. It's all good. Yep, totally all good. Okay, so we have the front door, the back of the house, one of the side windows here with the stained glass windows, and we have the second wall in the oven along with the two roof panels and the chimney. Now I'm not sure about the chimney because it was kind of like, I don't know about the cutter, but anyhow, we'll just see how it turns out. And you have to wait until they're completely cooled before you put them together. So I'm going to probably end up putting them together into a house tomorrow after breakfast. But you guys, it will be like in a few minutes. That's the magic of magicness. Okay, bam, ready? One. Okay, so these have set or hardened overnight. Now I did put, so this one has got a little bit of sticky on it from this. Um, so if you're stacking them, maybe just put some, uh, what's called parchment paper, so it doesn't stick. Maybe these are hard, but they just went soft against this one here. So, but that's fine because, you know, icing, decoration, will be fine. Now, I did find out that I brought the wrong, well, I brought pink, a red and green colored icing instead of white with them sticking around it. So I'm gonna try and see if this will stick them together. If not, I'll have to make one. So yeah, I didn't see the labels because they're in a box. My bad, but I'm gonna start. I might wear the red one because that's what it says to in the box, but it seems a little bit funny. So I'm gonna use the green one. I'm gonna try and stick these together. Just remember, okay, I'm gonna stick so don't be mean. Okay, first, so this is a wall. I have trimmed a little bit, obviously a little bit wonky, and this is one end here. So I'm gonna stick, stick it to there, like that. Stand. 